Foods locations continue to close all under the same ownership. Chris Goodson. Now Goodson and his firm are uh, approved to redevelop Cleveland High School in South City. That project is facing questions tonight as court records show Goodson is dealing with several legal issues because of the grocery store closures. However, Goodson says those closings will not impact the Cleveland High School project. Tonight, our Nathan Vickers has been digging into this long awaited project many are looking forward to. Nathan. Well, first, let's talk about that project here. Cleveland High School, there's a lot of signs of neglect. I mean, there's broken glass all over the sidewalk. There's debris everywhere. And a lot of people in this neighborhood have been excited about the prospect of something new here. The Cleveland High School of the past. I remember kids walking down the street. Seems like a distant memory for people living near the vacant, neglected building. The neighborhood is nothing like it was when I was a kid. This is just an, an eyesore and I would like to see it revitalized. Whenever schools close, they contribute to neighborhood blight. That's why James Sykes and others in Dutchtown are excited about the prospect of redevelopment. Sykes leads Dutchtown Main Streets, a group hosting a meeting tonight with a developer interested in transforming the building into a mixed use space. This summer, Chris Goodson, the owner of Fields Foods, acquired the development rights. Tonight, they'll learn more about those plans. Probably going to be some apartments that come out of this development as well as some commercial real estate. Uh, and I heard that there might be a nonprofit that occupies a portion of the building as well. But Fields Foods has closed stores in recent months, including a location in Dogtown earlier this week. But Goodson has told First Alert 4 it would not impact this redevelopment. I think the Fields Foods project is, is separate from this. Whatever comes next for Cleveland High School, the people who take pride in Dutchtown hope it will have a ripple effect, allowing more projects to take shape. He's willing to take on this. That would be wonderful. Somebody needs to take care of this. Now today, Goodson did not respond to our calls or emails, but he's uh, going to be at this meeting tonight down the street at, at a church where they'll be discussing this development project. Reporting live in St. Louis, Nathan Vickers, First Alert 4.